welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to go over how you can style outfits around different bags. When you're putting together an outfit and you're trying to add the finishing touches, I know personally sometimes it's easy to get stuck in a rut and kind of wear the same bag over and over again. Or more importantly, maybe you're a little bit lost on how to build an outfit around a certain type of bag that you want to highlight, or maybe one that you've just added to your wardrobe. So in today's video, I want to go over some of the things that I keep in mind that I find really helpful when doing this. Before we hop into it though, I want to thank Songmont for sponsoring today's video. We're working together again on this so I'm styling some of the bags that they've gifted me. I'm using them as great examples because they have a variety of different shapes and it's one of the key points when building an outfit that allows you to influence the overall vibe. So I'm going to link everything in the description box down below and let's get started. So when you're building an outfit around a specific piece, there are a couple things you can keep in mind in order to influence how that's going to come across and how it's going to complete the overall look. And one of the easiest ones to start off with is the color. So when you're looking at color on a scale, whether that's light to dark, typically speaking, a lighter color is going to feel a little bit softer than a darker color. And you can keep that in mind if you want to channel that kind of softness, that ethereal feeling with the lighter colors, or if you want to go for something a little bit more utilitarian or really, really chic and down to earth by going for a darker color. So I have this bag that I styled in my last video with Songmont, and I really love this because the shape is really unique. It's a really beautiful uh, kind of rounded silhouette and that helps soften it even further. So even though you have the lighter color, you also have this soft line down here. And that find that I find that to be really easy to add to any other outfit because if you're wearing something a little bit softer, it complements it. And then much like I mentioned, if you're wearing something a little bit sharper, whether that's sharper in the cut or sharper in the color, this goes really far in, in softening that overall effect as well. So for this outfit, I wanted to show you kind of a darker outfit and then the lighter bag and then a darker outfit and the darker bag so you can really see how each of them can impact the overall effect. So what I also really love about this bag and why I thought it'd be a great one to use for this example is that in addition to the softer color and then the softer silhouette all around it has this beautiful finishing on the side that really enhances that even further because this itself is also curved and then you have this great strap and you can wear it over your shoulder it makes it very functional and very very practical but then also you can change this and you can wear it a couple different ways so I love this because like I mentioned in my other video that I did with this you can make it a smaller size and I think that's so chic and really versatile it makes it really flexible for if you want to go from day to night and then also it's got a crossbody strap so if you wanted to wear this bag with an outfit that again is really functional something that's very necessary for you to go from day to night all day maybe you're going to work you can run errands the whole day. You can bring this strap in the bag itself. And as you need to, you can go from the shoulder style to the crossbody style and then to that smaller style. Really, really flexible and I think really, really great. Now, in addition to the color of the bag and then also the shape and how those two together can influence the overall vibe of the bag, I also want to talk about the hardware. Now, this is something that you can either pay a lot of attention to or very little attention to. And I personally kind of rotate between the two of them. So typically speaking, I wear gold jewelry. As you can see, I've got gold jewelry on today. So I love a bag that has that gold hardware, but I also think that as long as the hardware itself is really high quality, much like it is in these beautiful bags, the, tarn the finish doesn't tarnish at all, and everything looks very thoughtful and very cohesive, you can mix and match that with other metals. And especially with a bag, and one that maybe you're gonna carry over your shoulder, or you're gonna carry crossbody, that tends to be far enough away from the metal of your jewelry that everything just kind of goes together. So now I want to talk about this bag and as you can see this already shares some similarities to the one that I just styled in the color. It's got that same beautiful light color and then also it has this same beautiful pebbled texture on it and anytime you have this pebbled texture it feels very luxe. It's usually indicative of a very high-end bag making the bag itself feel a little bit more formal, a little bit more thoughtful and put together and and then also you can notice that it shares the similarity in the shape in a couple ways. The first being again this gorgeous piping on the sides and then on the handle. Again lending to the formality. And then also you'll notice that this is smaller. The smaller size again makes this feel a little bit dressier and I find that this is really versatile for that point as well because it also has the top handle. So when you combine
combine the smaller size with the top handle, this inherently is gonna feel a little bit dressy. And then also you'll notice that this one, in addition to having a slightly more structured shape, also has these great feet on the bottom. And these are not only wonderful for the longevity of the bag, cause you can set it down and it won't get damaged, but this is also um, increasing the formality. And anytime you have these little touches, it just feels a little bit dressier. So you've got the color that's on the lighter end. You've got the overall shape, which is both a little bit formal and a little bit casual. And then if we go to our third point and look at the hardware, besides the feet, there's no hardware on this bag. This makes it really versatile. I wanted to highlight specifically probably one of my favorite ways to style a bag, which is to repeat the color in your outfit. So you can go for this particular color and get as close as you can in maybe your outerwear, your sweater, you could do your shoes, you could do all three of them. And that cohesiveness and that repetitive nature of repeating that color is going to instantly make it feel really thoughtful. So now I want to style this bag and I chose this one because it illustrates a lot of the points that I mention a lot in my videos, but also it's the same but different than the other two. So for starters, we look at the color and it's got that same beautiful light color. The light color kind of again lightens it all up, but in addition to being this really beautiful kind of like soft taupey bone color, it you'll notice has a flat texture. So it doesn't have any of that pebbling. And when you remove the pebbling, you make it feel a little bit more formal. You also make it feel a little bit more corporate, a little bit more professional. And that especially coupled with this beautiful shape, it's like a soft rectangle that lends to the classic feeling. This is a really timeless option. And if ever you're looking for a bag that definitely won't date, going for something in a structured shape like this and this kind of smaller sized rectangle, that will never feel outdated. You could wear this for years and years and years. So choosing a color that's gonna complement your wardrobe in a beautiful silhouette like this, it's gonna be a right choice every time. And then I also wanted to mention quickly that with this one, you can wear crossbody. So that again is gonna give versatility. It's gonna make it really easy to travel with. You're, you can be hands-free, but then also the crossbody makes it feel a little bit less uh, formal. So you take this gorgeous shape, you add the crossbody, and if you wear it literally crossbody, that's gonna make it feel a little bit more relaxed. But then you can take the strap off and carry it like a clutch. And anytime you can carry something under your arm like a clutch, that makes it feel a little bit dressy as well. It feels a little bit more high maintenance anytime you see someone carry a bag like that. So it makes it feel like you must be going somewhere pretty important where you're not gonna need your hands. And it kind of increases that overall vibe. And then the last point that I wanted to mention really quickly is that when you have a bag like this and it's got a beautiful closure on the front, it's again in that beautiful gold hardware, but it's also creating a statement. So it's a little bit bigger than the hardware on the other bag. Then you've got this that can be a focal point. And then I also wanted to mention really quickly that beyond the overall aesthetics of a bag like this, this is a really good option if you maybe live in a city or maybe you're gonna be walking somewhere that's a little bit more crowded. You're worried about someone maybe reaching in and getting something out of your bag because this not only has the closure in the front that's really secure, but then to open it, you kind of have to move it a little bit. You have to be really intentional in order to get it open. And then on the inside, it also has a zippered pocket and the zippered pocket is gonna be closest to you when you're wearing it. So now I wanna style this bag. And as you can see, this is a different color than the other three that we've already done. And I wanted to include this one. I styled it in my other video, but I wanted to include it here because it's uh, giving you a lot of options in how you can style it because the bag itself has a lot of personality. So when you look at the color, I like to start there first. It's a really nice kind of like soft, darker taupe. This is a really versatile color for this time of the year in particular. If you're a little bit worried about a lighter color and getting scuffed or possibly damaging it, this can be a really safe option that's not black. And then it's also really great because it's not really brown, but it goes with brown. So again, really flexible. And it has this gorgeous texture on it, this beautiful pebbling. And then when you look at the overall shape of this bag, it's got the great top handle, making it feel a little bit formal, but then you combine that with the more relaxed body of this bag, but then you've got this great piping and you have the feet on the bottom. So this one has, again, a lot of personality built into the bag. And I wanted to include this one because as you're building out your outfit and you're considering all of the points that we've talked about, when you want a bag that's like 
a little bit of a statement that can speak for the rest of your outfit. You can keep the rest of your outfit very, very simple and allow this to be the star. And I also really love this because when you have a shape like this and you've got the top handle, you can very easily tie a scarf onto it. So when you go with my point that I mentioned earlier about repeating the color in your outfit, you can keep it as simple as repeating the color in your scarf. So whether you're going to wear that scarf up by your neck or you're going to wear it on your bag, repeating the color that you you find within those two is a great way to again make it feel really balanced and really cohesive. So now for this last bag I wanted to circle back to the one that I mentioned in the first look and focus specifically on how this one can influence your outfit. So I wanted to highlight that you can wear it like this in this great smaller shape. Also of course when you consider the color I wanted to mention this one is black and I want that to be a focal point for this piece in particular because when you're choosing a bag for your outfit one of the easiest ways to keep it cohesive is to match your hair. So if you could find a bag that's as close to your hair as possible, that color is always on you and that's going to instantly make it all feel cohesive. So you have a lot of flexibility with the colors in your outfit as long as you're repeating the color of your hair in your bag. And then you could probably choose the ones that I mentioned earlier if you had like blonder hair, slightly on the lighter scale. If you have kind of like middle of the road, they have some beautiful bags that would fit that. And if you have kind of like mid brown hair, the one that we just styled would be gorgeous. And then also for this one in particular, I've really been loving carrying it in this, uh, this shape, making it a little bit smaller, again, top handle. And especially for the fall and the winter, I think this is really chic. And this, especially when you can match it to like a pair of great black boots, you can keep the rest of your outfit really simple. And this does all the work for you. So again, it kind of becomes your focal point. But by repeating the color of your hair, it just goes and it matches so perfectly. So that's how you can build outfits around your bag and how you can consider things like the color, the shape, the overall hardware, and just the general energy of the bag in order to influence your outfits. And keeping these tips in mind have been really helpful for me. And as I've experimented over the last couple years, they're things that I kind of refer back to and they tend to work out every time. So hopefully they can be helpful for you as well. I'm going to link all of the bags that I've styled from Songmont in the description box down below. And then of course the color information as well. Thank you to Songmont for sponsoring this video. Thank you, of course, for watching it, and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.